Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to RV360 by National Indoor RV Centers, where we have all the details on the latest coaches. NIRVC is a trusted resource with RV lifestyle specialists who are here to help you find your dream coach. NIRVC also supports you well after the sale with storage, service, and detailing. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm thrilled to show you the 2025 Patriot Cruiser by Midwest Automotive Design. Now, this is an amazing van. For a lot of you B-Van enthusiasts, this may be the van that you've been looking for and you just don't know about it. So this is your Escalade with a bathroom in the rear. This is your um, van that will get you from A to B. This is your tailgate van. This is your go to the kids tournaments um, kind of vehicle. You can seat a lot of people. You've got the bathroom. You've got a mini kitchen. So it just kind of has everything that you're looking for. This is by far their most popular um, design in the cruiser. So this is the D6. There are two other floor plans. Um, but today I get to show you this one. So excited. Now let me know in the comments below if there's something else you, you'd like to see or what you love about this cruiser. So let's start from the very top. We've got the radio antenna, then we've got this great big windshield. This is how you get to travel, see the beautiful country as you're uh, traveling along in your van. Right at the very top from Mercedes, you're gonna see like a little triangle box there. We've got a camera in there. That's gonna help with your adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, lane departure, different safety features that are built into uh, the Mercedes chassis. Then we've got our rain sensing windshield wipers. We've got our uh, LED headlights. This is kind of like the little eyebrow. I think they just look nice. Plus there's three different lights in there. So they are smart headlights. So they're not gonna blind the car, the oncoming traffic for you. And then we've got our uh, fog lights below. Notice that they've added the nice skirting, the spoiler here in front looks really nice. And then Midwest, to my knowledge, is the only one that paints this front grille. So it kind of gives it that G-Wagon look. It just looks really high end because it is. It's kind of like your Learjet with wheels. Also notice along the front, we've got our parking sensors so that we can make sure we protect our van. Then we've got this step up here. If you need to clean your windshield, you can step up right there. And then right behind this little box here, if you ever need to be towed out of some place, if you went golfing, got the, 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 the dirt, got a little muddy, <laughs> that's where the rent, the winch would hook up there to pull you out. Hopefully you never need that. And then right in the center here, behind here, is the rest of the um, mechanics for your adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, all those safety features that will keep you on the road longer, safer. In 2025, you get the four cylinder, high output diesel engine, dual turbo. So you get 10% more horsepower, 2% more torque, and you get two more gears, so nine speed transmission. So you're gonna really notice a difference when you get in and drive this. So you need to make sure you come to National Indoor RV Centers where we're happy to let you test drive and feel the difference for yourself. Now under the hood, we have the air suspension. So this is by, by VB um, out of the Netherlands. This is the first air suspension that's approved for Sprinter vans. So you're gonna really, that makes a huge difference. You can manually fill here if you need to. We've got this empty space here where you used to, you're used to probably seeing a battery, not there obviously. We've got our ground here. And then we have the positive side here if you ever need to jump the van. Power steering fluid, windshield wiper fluid, um, oil fill. You're gonna have great readings at the dash for your oil fill and for your def, so you didn't notice there's no dipstick here. And then we've got the coolant. Now you may notice this hose running through here. This is the coolant hose for your rear AC and heat. And then we've got our DEF here in the front. Um, again, you're gonna have a great reading for that on your dash, always watch that. You wanna make sure you're putting in good def. Def does have a shelf life um, of about a year and it doesn't like heat and it doesn't like sunlight. So just remember that when you're filling up your tank. 
As we come around to the passenger side, you're going to notice the beautiful aluminum wheels with the chrome finish, giving that, again, that high-end look. Also, speaking of high-end, just look at the clean finish of the whole vehicle here. So when the raw chassis comes in, Midwest Automotive Designs, they take off all the cladding or trim, um, paint that, and then they add it back into the van along with the skirting here, the steps. So everything matches, looks really nice. Just keeps that nice, clean, crisp, bright look that you're looking for um, in a high-end vehicle like this. And when would they take this cladding off and this trim off, they paint the whole piece, not just the front side, the back side too, so you're not gonna worry about the paint ever peeling. So it's gonna maintain this high quality look throughout the lifetime of the coach. We've got the exterior mirrors here. Those are internally controlled and heated. You're gonna have your um, turn signal in here and you'll also, in your mirror, you're gonna have the blind spot indicator when you're driving to keep you safe. So as I walked in the side, you notice these nice big windows. They are tinted, so you're gonna have your privacy. If you wanna take the celebrity friends with you, you're good to go, but it really is nice and it gives you a lot of privacy. Very high, high-end looking. We've got our exhaust here, and then we come around the back corner here. We've got our LED brake lights. Up top, we have our over-the-air antenna, our rear camera, and then we've got our 5,000 pound tow hitch and the connect for our brake lights. You'll also see here the sensors for parking. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rear bath just so you can see it here. It's nice and um, easy to see, but I'll go through everything inside as well. So actually the bathroom is very spacious, even with all the doors shut. It also gives you a great place to store gear. If you're going on a golf trip, this is where you can put those golf clubs or gear while you're traveling if you need to do that. I will kind of walk through everything in the bathroom when we're on the inside. As we come around the driver's side, you can see that we've got the hookup for our 30 amp shore power cord, our gravity dump, and then our T-poles for the black and gray tank. And we have our gray tank uh, flush and our black tank flush, our city water connection hookup, and our fresh water connection hookup. So you're probably going to notice as you're looking at this beautiful van, nice sleek, this sticker that says FTZ. That means free trade zone. So one of the things that was really important to um, Midwest Automotive Design is that they didn't get any decontented or modified chassis. If you bought a van during the um, COVID years or right thereafter, you may have bought something that had a key decontented chassis. That means that basically um, when Mercedes was building your um, chassis in South Carolina, if they didn't have a part um, or component, they just built it without that component. So um, Midwest Automotive Design was not happy with that. Dealers were not happy with that. Customers were not happy with that. So they spent a lot of money to get a free trade zone. So this chassis, came directly from Germany. So from Germany, you're not gonna have the chance of any decontented chassis or modified chassis. So we're all gonna be happy with that. So that's a huge investment by them. And then that gives you the options of having any color that Mercedes offers. And really give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. We'll help work with you um, and Midwest Automotive Designs to give you any color that you are looking for kind of under the rainbow. We're happy to help you with that and do a custom build for you. So you may be wondering where you fill up uh, the fuel on this. It's just inside the driver's side door, right inside there, 24 gallon diesel fuel tank. So are you ready to go inside and check out the inside of this cruiser? I am excited to show you. So power door, just pull in the handle, it's gonna open. And then right inside the front door, there's a little button here that you can shut it once you're inside. It just makes it super easy. Also in the stairwell, you've got the little light, the little eyes. When you walk in, a D-ring here, our fire extinguisher. Always nice to have a fire extinguisher, but I would also go and check out my video on ProTank, our fire suppression system that's sold exclusively by National Indoor RV Centers. So welcome to my Learjet on wheels. It truly is, and that's truly what it feels like in here. Beautiful upholstery, beautiful woodwork, um, and then you can really customize. So there, this is the black upholstery. They have their um, diamond, double stitch diamond upholstery that's padded, that looks so nice, so high end. But there are probably at least 10 other colors that you can choose from. So um, 
lots of options and then just wanted to go through they have they do their own upholstery in-house so um, you know we saw them stitch it if you want to check that out go look at my factory tour video of Midwest Automotive's um, design and you'll be able to see that along with the process of how they get this beautiful um, finish on their woodwork so this is basically waterproof um, this is the hydrograph um, process and we got to see that really cool this is the satin finish there's also a high, a high gloss um, but I just love the way it looks and what they do um, that's unique to uh, Midwest is that every place that you see wood from the front of the van so at the dash they remove those pieces when the raw chassis comes in to everything throughout the van all matches all looks like it's meant to be here all one interior design so it really gives it that high-end look that we are that we're going for here and then look at the comfort so we get um, seating for 10 10 seat belts in the d6 floor plan like i said this is the most popular floor plan there's two others that you can choose from we can take out one of these seats have a longer sofa um, but give, just give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers and we can walk you through those floor plans. So you'll notice that we've got the nice 32 inch Samsung Smart TV behind me, which is great to have. And then the other bonus that Midwest gives us is this sound system. So not just a sound bar, we have the amplifier, we have the subwoofer, and we have four speakers. So really nice uh, sound system from Alpine in the van and then you'll notice a lot of venting here from the front so our ac and our furnace for the coach is run through the engine and it's all behind this cabinet here so when the engine's running we've got ac and heat so very comfortable chairs in the van here and we've got the bonus of the massage feature <laughs> so we can select the zones and then which type of massage we want and the speed and intensity so that's great along with the heated seats so one of my favorite things because i can never you know be quite happy with the temperature around me so if i can put the heat on in my seat i'm a happy girl um, and then we can also adjust the backrest so we can let, lean it back more as well another thing that's nice is right from here we've got a little workstation so it can just pull this right out flattens up and now i've got a place to work put that down looks nice and neat so we have three of these workstations in the van here and then the two seats behind me also have them just to the side of the armrest i've got two usb charging ports my cup holder and then over here we've got our first of four firefly control panels throughout the van this is really nice so you've got one in this section the row behind me the back row and then at the dash so right here i control the lights um, all on all off our driver's side reading light passenger side reading light our accent light and the center light i can also control the climate control right here so again this has to have the ignition has to be on for this to work but cool hot auto off and then the fan speed fusion is going to be for the sound system here in the center of the van so i can you know, go to the front TV if I want, FM, Bluetooth, AM, or USB audio. And then here are our controls for volume. So zone one, which is the area I'm sitting in. Zone two is just behind me. And global is the whole area, um, traveling area for the van. And then we have our settings, so I can control the brightness of the screen, auto dimming, cleaning mode, um, set the uh, display you know if it's fahrenheit or celsius and then the control setup here so you can see i've turned the front two seats around here so we've got four that we can easily have a conversation hang out enjoy each other's company as we travel down the road love that we can do this that those seats turn around it's really nice then we have another bonus on my chair here is i actually have the footrest i can recline so if I just take this, I can get really comfortable and make it very hard to stay awake. <laughs> so I do love those features. So power foot rest on both this, on this chair and this chair. And then we have the massage features and the heated seat feature on this as well. Also the workstation. So I have that here 
and here as well with my cup holder along with the workstation we've got the power that we need so we have two 110 outlets here i've got the usb charging port hdmi and here's another control system for the surround system in the midship of the van here as well and our second display where i can do all the lights temperature sound system and settings so the other thing that's really nice about these seats is that they've got the child safety tethers in here so like i said this can be a family van how many times have you seen uh, moms in the back of their escalade with the little potty <laughs> you know the portable potty um well you don't have to do that here because we've got a potty for everyone so i love this great for the family great for friends tailgating executives celebrities you name it this covers it all you also have a nice easy blackout shade so if you just want it to get you know if you're watching a movie and you want it to be dark in here because literally with the tinted windows you can't see in um, but this will give you complete privacy and it's just so easy just push it up push it down and that's on all of these windows so let's talk about some of the different ways that you can use this fan let's say that you're taking the your son's hockey team and you've got all that hockey gear that you've got to travel with you can actually take out these front two seats here um, and put all your gear here if you need to that still gives you seating for two four six in the back and then the two up front eight and then you can rotate your captain and co-captain's chairs around so you still have you know your captain's chairs facing these chairs so these are removable if you need to but this is a great setup here obviously they can all be forward facing or you can make this kind of arrangement and then you've got your little party here you got your little party in the back just so many options for this van so let's go over a little bit of the storage that we have here so nice storage and note that everything is lined finished out nicely so you're not going to have any rattling and then they lock in place shut really nice and tight and again that beautiful woodwork on all the wood pieces so i'll just open up all these storage spots so you can see storage above so quite a bit of storage and now that I've got your attention up here, check out this beautiful ceiling. This is modeled after the Maybach um, automobile. So really pretty luxury high-end automobile. So now back to our bench sofa area. So we've got seating for two here and seating for two here with seat belts. We've got two USB charging ports, two cup holders, and two more cup holders two more USB charging ports. Right underneath the um, sofa here, we've got our CO2 protector, um, detector, and then we've got the smoke alarm above here, and you'll notice our speakers. So we have that nice um, surround system. Now the other thing is that this does make into a bed. So it's just a jackknife sofa, and you do that on both sides, and then you've got a nice sleeping area here in the back. So right here in our door to the bathroom and kitchen, can't wait to show you that, um, we have an 18 inch TV and it mirrors what's on the front TV. So it's really nice for, you know, you can kind of have your own little thing going back here in the back and, and watch TV as well. Another control panel here. And then of course we've got our shades that we can easily move up and down. And again, just notice all the stitching, the upholstery, everything that's finished off. Um, very automotive very clean just nicely nicely crafted all right so now we're heading into the bathroom and kitchen area you'll see that it really is a nice size plenty of headroom here i've got heels on so right when you walk into the bathroom you've got the light switch bathroom kitchen the light switch with the led lights and it is also vented and heated and cooled here in the back got our porcelain toilet with the pedal control. Right behind here is our 2000 watt um, Zantrac and inverter. So just easy, easily accessible if we need to get to that. Same with right here. Um, the control for our flyer, Firefly system. So very easy to get to there as well. But then this becomes our kitchen area. So we've got our microwave up top with our residential faucet here 
solid surface countertop and our sink. So we can use that to you know, wash up with after the bathroom or, and we've got the two 110 outlets. Just below that, we've got our refrigerator and freezer. So great little place for the drinks as we're traveling and entertaining our friends. And then of course we can, you know, when you're drinking all that, you've got to have a place to, to you know, return that liquid. So we have the nice little bathroom set up here, toilet paper holder, and a little storage area above here, and a vent that we can open up here to, you know, vent this area out if you don't want to open up the big doors and have a really vent the space. But really a nice space, works great for um, this floor plan. Really think you're going to like it. Make sure you come and see us at National Indoor RV Centers. And then at the very bottom here, we have the fuses for the back half of the coach. So now we're to the cockpit area. So right underneath my seat here, we've got the fuses for the front half of the van. And then we've got the lumbar support here. Right in front of me, we've got the lever here that you move so that you can turn these seats around into the um, midship of the van, you know, kind of become part of the party if you want to once you're at your destination, I guess. And then we've got the nice seats. Now remember, everything um, that came standard for Mercedes has been stripped. That lining, they've put their own upholstery on here. It's very comfortable, very nice, beautiful. And they do that in the door. And you'll also notice the wood insets here in the door and in the dash. So everything looks like it all belongs together. So below my feet here, we've got the um, chassis batteries. Over here to the door, we've got a little spot here that can, we can easily pull the door shut. And then we've got the controls for the window and our controls for the mirrors, external mirrors door handle, and then these are the controls for the memory settings <clears throat> for your Mercedes seat. So if you want to adjust the seat forward here, up, down, backrest, get it right just perfect like you like it, then you're gonna press the one, the memory and the one together till you hear a beep. Now you've set that memory seat. So second driver will do the same. And usually for the third, I like to make that the setting to where I can easily turn and rotate the captain's chair around. That's just me, but that's what I like to do. Then we've got the heated seats, unlock and lock. Nice big storage compartment here, drink holder, and another storage below that. Right here is the release for the front hood. So here we have our lights. So we have our running lights, daytime lights, our auto lights and our headlights. Then we have our fog lights here. And this is the auto dim light um, control for your dash area. Then we've got the control for our turn signals and our windshield wipers. Now remember you have the auto sensing windshield wipers. So if you do wanna turn them on yourself, you can just turn them on. And then if you press the center button, You'll see how the water comes out of the windshield wiper itself, which saves um, a lot on your windshield wiper fluid, which is just better for our environment, of course. And then you can flash your headlights here as well. I also mentioned that we had the nine speed transmission. Well, you can manually shift down and up from these paddles. So they're right on the steering column, very easy to get to. Now let's go to our home button here and we're gonna be able to see all the information here on this screen. So you can scroll through it. I'm gonna go into service and click here because I want you to see this is where you can easily see your DEF level. We need service in 347 days. Engine oil if the, if the van was running. This will show you your diesel particulate filter and it will just let you know when it's full. It will automatically run that off for you. So then we can go to our drive assist. This is gonna show the following distance of cars in front of us, trip information. So we can see we have 94 miles left till we're empty. Then we've got our current consumption. We've got our driving habits here trip one and trip two 
and we're just back to our miles per hour. Navigation, radio, media, phone, settings, vehicle. So you can adjust the rain sensor sensitivity on the windshield wipers here if you want to. So you can see what's click in, go to low sensitivity, standard, or very sensitive. Display in operation. So this is where you just want to make sure you can see that display for the DEF that it's on your display, which it is already. So then we have our on and off for our cruise control, our resume and our cancel, our set for our cruise control, and again, that lane following distance that you can adjust while driving. So we can go to our home screen here. Now I can, with this little mouse, I can control uh, everything over here on this display or its touch screen as well. So I'll kind of go through more of it over there. Um, but if you do click into something, then you can just go back, go to your home page, and go back to the start. So this is your volume control for the radio answer a call, hang up a call, and then this is for your voice commands, and then this is for our help or for my Mercedes. Over here we have our transmission control, so up for a reverse, down for drive, in for park. Here is our keyless ignition, so if you just push it one time, that will take you to accessory mode. If you push it again, that will take you to ignition mode, and then if you put your foot on the brake and hold it down, it will start the van. And then to stop it, you do the same thing. Put your foot on the brake and hold the button down and it will stop. Now just below here, we've got our master power. So that's our battery disconnect for the entire van. So we've got everything on right now, but say let's we're going to Disneyland for the day. We're gonna disconnect the battery um, completely. And then we may have contents in the refrigerator that we wanna keep cool. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the refrigerator on, but everything else is off. Now this is really nice that you have a Firefly display panel at the dash. So here on the home screen, we have the master lighting control, so on and off. We can turn the water pump on, the accent lighting, tank heaters, the inverter, the center lighting, and the internet. We can also control the temperature of the coach from here, cool, heat, auto, and off. Remember that the ignition must be on for the cooling or the HVAC system to work. And then we have our settings page. Here to the right of the driver's seat, we've got the remote for the air um, suspension for the coach. So you can move it up and down the front or the rear. So that's really nice. Remember, that's an optional feature that we've added. Otherwise, you would just have the Sumo Springs that come standard. Here is a remote for the massage feature that we've optioned into the seats here. So not only do you get it in the captain seat, you get it in all of the actual chair seats or captain seats throughout this van. So you just turn on the power here. You've got three zones. You can select what type of massage and the speed and intensity. And then it fits nicely back in here so that you don't constantly um, hit those buttons when you're going back um, to the rear of the van. We have our nice display here, which is touch screen. Now I can take something from towards the end here. I can move it up towards the beginning. And then once I get it where I want it, I just click and leave it there. So now it's just right one of my first four buttons. Um, so we've got our phone, our navigation. We have really nice navigation through Mercedes. We also have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto our media, our settings. So let's go into settings here. I'm gonna go into assistance. Now I've got my traffic sign assist, active lane keeping assist, active brake assist, and you can go into each one of those and you can set if you want that visual and audible on, or just visual, or if you want them all off. And then we've got the attention assist, blind spot assist. So it's just nice, all these safety features that are built in. And then you can go to My Mercedes where you can add apps that are compatible with the Mercedes um, vehicle right here in your car. Here we can go to our rear camera. 
telephone. These are our, kind of our quick buttons, our nav system, and our radio media, volume control, back to the home page here, power it off, back to the vehicle, quick button to go back to your vehicle, and then your search and seek bar here. Down below we've got our HVAC control, so heat and cold, and our fan speed. Then we have our AC button, our defrost, our hazard, our max defrost, recirculate the air within the van, and our rear defrost. Here we've got the door control for the sliding door, so that's really nice. You can open that for your passengers or shut it right there. Our key fob, then we've got four cup holders right below that we have the 12 volt receptacle here and USB-C and then right below that there's a little slot there that's where you can stick your key fob and reset it if you ever need to do that right in there up here on the top of the dash we've got a storage compartment here for the driver another cup holder and then another compartment here so this is where we're gonna um, hook in our phone for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto We've got two more USB-C inputs here and a uh, wireless charging pad here. Another cup holder and more storage. Nice little compartment. You can kind of hide some things in there. Now this isn't really showing you uh, the coolest part about this, but this is your rear view camera. So it's really clear when you're on the road, you can see it perfectly. Now, if I just push that button below, then it just becomes a rear view mirror so I can see my guests in the back. We also um, have controls here for the settings. So if you're on your brightness, you can control that or you can go to your up and down and you can control that camera, the view from the camera while you're driving. So this is a game changer as far as I'm concerned. I absolutely love it. Just above that, we've got the compartment here for our sunglasses. We have our help or SOS button here. Over to the side, we have, um, this will connect you with customer service. Then we have our reading light for the captain. We have the light for the door when the doors are open. The light for this whole display here. And this is the light for the normal chassis. Obviously, this doesn't do anything. And then we have the reading light for the co-pilot. So right in front of the co-pilot, you've got a nice little storage compartment here. And then below my seat here, we, we have the spot where they keep the jack. Hopefully you never need that, but if you do, that's where it's at. And then we have the same seat controls, memory settings, heat, and then the beautiful upholstery, um, wood, and even upholstery, look at this. So these are the, this is one of the things that's different on um, a Midwest coach as far as the Patriot goes. They, the A pillars are all upholsteried. And then even the sun visor and the overhead. So it just adds to that beautiful luxury that you get with the uh, Patriot Cruiser. So I've put out the blackout shades. They're really easy to get up. You just unfold the front um, set here put them around the rear view mirror and then put your sunshades down. And then you can literally see how easy these go up. They've got magnets in them. So they literally just sit right in place and give you full privacy. Plus you have that reflective material on the back side of them to keep the heat um, out of your, coat, of your van. So love that and full privacy. So we're just about ready to hit the road. This is my favorite point of the video because I get to test drive. And today we get to test drive the new four cylinder turbo um, powered engine here. So big difference um, from what we get from the six cylinder. I mean like big difference. You'll feel just like you're in your sports car. Honestly, you just pull out. There's no lag at all when you hit the accelerator. So I do love that. If you haven't driven one yet, you've got to come out and try it because it's, I'm telling you, a game changer. So if you've watched my videos, you know that I always like to do the decibel reader. So 63.5, again, that contributes to that new engine. Um, we get more horsepower, more torque, and it's quieter. So you are going to love driving this, I'm telling you. Um, the other thing is we've got the air ride suspension. So that's actively working as I'm driving. 
Um, so I just took a big curve just a minute ago and you just, you didn't feel that sway at all. Um, really nice and smooth and easy. I absolutely love driving this. Now, the other things that are great about this, so I'm gonna get up to speed here. I'm gonna put my cruise control, set it. I'm at 70 miles per hour in a 65 mile speed limit zone. That's perfect. <laughs> um, but now I can just sit back, relax, enjoy the journey, enjoy the getting there. Um, so if I come up on some cars, it's not real busy right now this time of day. Um, I've got the lane departure. It's gonna help keep me in my lane. Um, I also am going to have that following distance. It's going to let me know if I get too close to a vehicle that's in front of me and I can adjust that right here while I'm driving. So other safety features that they've got built in are the, um, they can kind of tell your driving habits. It monitors that. So if it tells that you're kind of veering out of your lane, it's going to tell you to need to pull over, grab a cup of coffee, um, get that Diet Coke, something to keep you more alert. So always things that are, uh, going to keep you safe, keep you on the road, RVing longer, enjoying the RVing lifestyle. So I love this van. I love the cruiser. Um, you know, back in the day when I was the volleyball mom, the football mom, and I had all the friends in the in the car with me. And I'm telling you, some of those football boys, I can still remember Eric Kim, if you're watching, I'm sure you're not. <laughs> but getting him into the back seat of my Sequoia, it was tricky. He was a big boy. <laughs> Um, so anyway, this gives you room for the gear and for all the kids and for all the fun. Or if you're going on a guy's weekend for golfing or a girl's weekend and you want to go shopping, um, you've got lots of space to store all those goods that you find when you're out shopping <laughs> in the cruiser. So my favorite new feature for 2025, well, I do love the engine, that little extra power is nice too, but I love the rear view mirror. So it's actually not a mirror, it's the camera from the rear camera off the back of the van. So it's crystal clear. I can fully see everything behind me that I've got my side mirrors. I've even got my blind spot monitor here. It's letting me know that I can't change lanes right now. Someone's in my blind spot. I've got a semi coming up here on me in a second. So I love that, another safety feature. But that rear view mirror just makes me feel like I'm driving in a car. You know, really I feel like I'm driving in just a really nice car. I've got the Mercedes chassis. It's the the air suspension, nice and smooth. Listen how quiet it is. It's really, it's really wonderful. Um, I just want to fill it up with a bunch of people and go have a party. <laughs> so I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous van would cost you. Well, current MSRP is $241,995. If you want to find out what I can sell you this van for, make sure you give me a call at National Indoor RV Centers. And remember, with our volume and economies at scale, RVs simply cost less with National Indoor RV Centers. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave your comments below. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. And then go and check out our protein video, our service portal. You're our customer from this. The sale is just the start of our relationships. We're going to be there for service throughout the ownership time that you have your van. And then make sure you check out our AIM Club. If you're not sure what, where to go or what to do, when you first get an RV from National Indoor RV Centers, we'll help solve that problem for you. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.